Welcome to Bob R Photos. In this video, I'm going to show you film that I shot with my father's 1958 Brownie turret mount movie camera using Cine 8 color negative 40 ISO double 8 movie film that I purchased from filmphotographyproject.com. I'll leave a link in the description box below. I shot this film about four weeks ago and I sent it out for de development and I just recently got it back. This brownie turret mount camera uses double eight film which is 16 millimeter film that you shoot on both sides of the film. It's a 25 foot reel. Once you shoot the first side then you have to flip it over, re-thread the film and shoot the other side to finish the reel. I shot this film at my local park where I do a lot of my wildlife photography. In the film you'll see some Rosetta spoonbills, some shorebirds, and then hingas with their babies and some of the area where the Anhingas nest. I thought it would be fun to shoot with this movie camera to see the vintage look of the film that my parents used back when I was growing up. It was very interesting to use this camera. Once the film is loaded, you wind it up. All you're doing is looking through two viewfinders on the top of the camera. You have no idea the outcome of your film until you send it away to be developed. Nothing like today's mirrorless cameras or DSLR cameras where you can see instantly what you shot at. And if you didn't like it, you can delete it and shoot again. This is a wait and see game, just like everybody had to do back in the day. I also shoot black and white with my 1958 Yashika D. It's a 120 film format. I developed that film myself and process it. You can see these photos on my other videos on my channel. In this section of this video, you're looking out over the marsh from the Nature Center at our park. And as you can see, the film is coming to the end of the first side. Then the film will have to be flipped over, re-threaded, and spooled back so you can film on the other side. Here we are back where the Anhingas are nesting. There's a few babies in this nest directly in front of you and some to the left. As you can see, the babies are pretty active. They're wanting something to eat. To get these shots, I had to adjust my lenses. You can spin them. There's three of them. Like I said, it's a turret mount to the telephoto lens, which brings in, it's like a zoom. There's no focusing on these lens. It's just pure distance. You have a choice of standard, wide angle, telephoto lenses. Sometimes you can screw on if you need them filters to help keep the sun glare down. In this view, you're looking around the back pond where the Anhingas are nesting. At times, there'll be a lot of gators back here. Most of them go towards the front pond to do a lot of their fishing and hunting. Here we have an Anhinga. Eventually he'll fly back to the nest that we just saw where the babies were. When filming with the Brownie turret mount camera, you get about 30 to 35 seconds per wind. So as it starts to wind down, you have to stop, rewind it to get your next shot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, hit that like button, leave a comment if you want, and please follow me on Instagram at Bob Bar Photos. Thanks for watching.